Hey guys, Gameplay Person here, and today I have a tutorial on how you can play your PS4 on your PC using Remote Play. And yeah, Remote Play on PC is not available officially, but you can get it for free through unofficial software. So, first, you want to go to Google, and then you want to type in Remote Play PC. It's that easy, and then you go to Remote Play PC free. It, there's a premium version, but you can get the free version. It's by T Mac Dev, T M A C Dev, whatever. And yeah, T Mac Dev, as you can see. And yeah, so you go on this website, and first thing you have to do is sign up. But I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. When you sign up, you're going to want to register your email by going into Gmail and or your whatever your email is, and then clicking the link in your email to this website to confirm that your email is correct and everything and yeah to verify your account and once you verified your account you can see on the right side it says download this file literally just download it and then it says set up free 1.1 free and yeah once it's downloaded you just install it and I'm gonna show you just click English that's normal next 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 install that's how easy it is and uh, just let it wait just wait a bit until the thing finishes alright so once that's finished then you click finish <laughs> and then on your desktop there should be an icon that says remote play PC free so there's also a paid version for this so if you want to buy the paid version just click premium and it has extra features and I'll show you what features it has extra in in a second so once you have got it installed you just run it and click yes because you want to run as administrator and it says it's loading up and it says unregistered because it's not a premium version and you're going to want to allow it and then click allow access now I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to connect it to your PS4 and this is how you do it. Type in your game tag. If anyone wants to add me, then go ahead. I don't, I don't mind. And then, yeah. Now you're going to have to type in your pin, which we will get from the PS4. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, you want to turn on your PS4. And the bottom right, my PS4 is there. Once it's loaded up, you're going to want to go all the way to the right. Go to settings. Then you want to go down to... Where is it? Remote play connection settings. Then add device. And then you're going to want to type in that code in your pin. So 1402-1765. And click register. And as you can see on the PS4, it says please wait. And it says PS4 registered right here. Once that's done, you're going to be able to connect. You just go to PS4, connect, and then search and connect. Or you could do direct connect if you want. And it should load up hopefully. Doesn't that's a flop, but it should load up. Okay, as you can see, it's loaded up. So there's two screens on my screen right now because one's from my capture card. The one on the bottom right is from my capture card, and the uh, one on screen is the remote play app. So you're going to want to connect your PlayStation controller to the PC. And as you can see, there's quite it's quite um, responsive, as you can see. So straight from my capture card is the bottom right one and then that one is on the screen is the remote play. So you, you can't really tell the lag. It's pretty fast, pretty fast. And if you want to change the settings, you can... Uh, I think it's on 30 FPS at the moment. But I think you can change the settings. Uh, you close it and... Oh, yeah. It says shutting down. Go to settings, display settings. And yeah, you can change the resolution to your monitor resolution or whatever. Put it in full screen if you want and fps to 60 that's what you want to do if you have a good internet connection it will be all right i think and yeah so once that's done you're gonna have to connect again and it should be 60 fps i don't know if you could tell but i am recording in 60 fps so if you could tell that's good and yeah it's quite responsive actually And then once you've done that, you can play whatever game you want. And yeah, you can use your mouse and keyboard on this as, as well through the PS4. But 
um, you need to pay for the full version if you want to use the mouse and keyboard and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it was a nice and quick one nice and easy and please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe because uh, it'd be greatly appreciated and yeah thanks for watching this tutorial and if this helped you please leave a like please comment saying that it worked for you because most people don't believe that it works until this comments in this comment section so like help other people out and yeah thanks for watching and goodbye